YouTube, I'm Dawn with Double D Homestead, and today I'm going to share a recipe with you. I found another old cookbook. <laughs> it's not terribly old, but it was published in 1975, and it's uh, Cooking Magic Hungarian Cookbook. They had a whole series of these at the Peddler's Mall, and it's published by the Culinary Arts Institute, and I don't remember these. So, let me know if any of y'all remember these. We never had them. <laughs> so, what this is called is mushrooms and sour cream. And it sounded delicious. So, I thought, let's all make it together and see how it is. If you like mushrooms. <laughs> so, what you'll need is a pound of mushrooms. Now, I'm cutting my recipe in half because it's just two of us. But the full recipe is a pound of mushrooms. A half a cup of quick meat broth, they call it. And what it is, is beef bouillon and water. That's their, just what they call it in this book. And six tablespoons of butter. And one small onion sliced. I'm going to use half of this one because it's a pretty big onion. And another tablespoon of butter. A tablespoon of all-purpose flour. And salt and pepper. And that's it. So I'm going to get my onion sliced up, get these mushrooms sliced and washed up, and I'll be right back with you. Alrighty, so we got the mushrooms and onions sliced up, and I got my broth made here. And it says, in a skillet, melt six tablespoons of butter. So here we go. And then add the mushrooms to the butter and the small slice and the sliced onion. So I'm going to go ahead and throw that in here, just like so. And throw the onions in here, just like so. And it says to cook slowly, stirring gently until mushrooms are lightly browned and tender and onion is soft. Remove from heat and set aside. So I'll be back when these are close to ready. Alrighty, I got these where they're just about ready to go. How do they look? Oh, I wish you could smell it, it's amazing. Mm. All right, and then the recipe says to put this aside for now. So I will, and to get a small pot, so I will. Can you see in this okay? You can see it. And to add a tablespoon of butter, and melt it, and I'm gonna get this melted. And my black and white calf's still alive. She's a little sickly, so I'm gonna go get her some medicated feed today and get some medicine for her. And uh, hopefully she makes it. But she was a gamble, I got her cheap, so, you know, you get what you pay for kind of deal. But the red and white one, he's doing great. He's a big old boy. He's half Hereford and half, uh, Holstein. So then you put your flour, salt, and pepper in here, and you're going to cook it till it's well blended, it says. And let me read the directions so I don't mess up. Eat until mixture bubbles, which I guess it's bubbling. Remove from heat and actually gradually add the broth. Ooh, that puppy's hot. Scooch over hotness. Make sure you can still see good. Turn you a little. And add the broth gradually. Oh yeah. And mix it together real good. Keep mixing. And then it says to once you got it mixed well, which I think I do. Yep, I see a few lumps. Nobody wants the lumpy stuff. Get them lumps. It says to return it to the heat. So that's what we'll do. And then stirring constantly, cook one to two minutes longer. So that's what we'll do. Basically making a gravy. And then, once we start getting this thickened up for a minute or two, 
we are going to, stirring vigorously with a French whisk, or whip, a whisk, or a fork, add the contents of the saucepan in very small amounts to the one cup of sour cream. So, that's what I'm fixing to do here. Oh yeah, that's getting thick. See it? Oh yeah. Uh, again, I'll squish this over. And we're gonna start whisking in our sour cream. Set this here. In small amounts, it says. Can you see me? I'm gonna use my spatula. I don't wanna scratch my pan up. I couldn't find my Teflon coated whisk. <laughs> don't wanna scratch it. There we go. Put another chunk in, whoops. Whoops. Alrighty. There it goes, there it goes. It would do faster with a whisk, but I don't want to scratch my pan up. <laughs> all right, I'm going to finish mixing the rest of this and I'll be right, right back. So, after I got this all mixed together, I said to put the skillet back on the heat and mix this into the mushrooms. So that's what I'm going to do. Just like so. I'd say if you have some open beef broth in the fridge, you could use that too instead of the bouillon cube. And it just says to cook it for three to five minutes. And then you just top it with some parsley if you have it, which I don't have any, so I'm not going to. <laughs> oh, these do look good though. Yum. All right, I'm going to put the picture of the recipe right here so you can pause it and copy it if you want it. All righty. Look at that. And that is finished, my friends. I'm going to plate it up and we're going to give this a try. And it smells delicious. All righty, y'all. Look at that. Oh, it looks so good. Oh. Here goes to a new recipe. <laughs> Hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. And if you're new here, subscribe. And thank you to everyone that comes back every day and all my new subscribers. I like it. It's good. <laughs> it's very good. I think I'm going to get a steak out of the freezer and have this with supper tonight. And a steak. That would be awesome. What do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. Take care, y'all. God bless you, and have a great day.